Okay, so um, uh, we got this new Gmail girl. I wasn't able to actually pull her, so I actually got a friend here um, to actually just take a look at her skills and stuff and what she does for a video. She's not particularly the best, um, so I don't really feel bad about not pulling her. Uh, I just wish I did because she's exclusive, but this video, if my commentary sounds a bit off, I am very. I woke up sick. Um, I'm only recording this video today, so don't, don't worry, I'm not gonna just stress too much. Um, I just saw this in my friend's list and I was like, oh, I might as well just do it. So, Gina is an interesting character. She is probably the worst of the bunch. Um, she was clearly made for the new super boss. Uh, every single skill that she does is pretty much made for it, so let me go here and take a look at her translations. So, of course, the blue type. Her first skill, Infect, which is one of the things that does actually increase points on the uh, super boss. Um, and it's actually really good for it, not gonna lie, nullifying their healing. And then this one removes stances, which is also a very predominant thing on Super Boss. Meliodas does have that counter, which is really, it hits really hard. So removing that is really good. Then her ult uh, also does actual damage against stances, which again, Meliodas does have a stance like for the majority of time. So she is made for Super Boss. And also, uh, the unit can only receive one debuff. When she does have a debuff, it increases uh, attack by 20%. Again, very made for super boss because they inflict a lot of debuffs on you if you if you don't control them like i even had, had a picture on twitter of my gopher had like 20 debuffs um but yeah so she can only be debuffed once if she's debuffed she does increase her attack by 20 percent does have problems though low endurance and stuff like that just the usual uh from characters that aren't made to be like very good she again she's made for super boss she doesn't have like increased stats for super boss as some people are thinking she would i'm thankful she doesn't uh, but yeah, let's uh, take a look at what she does. I was 65, but uh, had decent gear. 11k attacks there, right? With the attack food and not even counting her. So, let's see uh, a little bit of the damage that she does. Again, she is mostly effective for super boss. So, it would be a better place to just take her. But I just don't have her. <laughs> the game just doesn't want me to pull her. So, uh, I do want to be... Uh, Debuffed just so I can get the extra passive. Oh, that's nice. Let me uh, combine those quick and then do this. Uh, the multipliers are pretty weak, but it's fine. Removing stance, particularly, is just a, such a bad ability because not many enemies have that. Again, super boss enemy has, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. like not that many enemies have that. The only, the only other enemy I can think on top of my head that has stance is uh, like Red Demon. Um, Red Demon, it wouldn't be bad actually because uh, Petrified Gilfan. No, okay. Red Demon wouldn't be so bad just because uh, she's blue and again, it does have a stance but not very necessary. Slater already takes off stances and stuff. I don't think she's gonna be good for a uh, Red Demon or anything. Okay. And she, uh, I want her to be uh, inflicted with the uh, the bleed. Nice, that's a debuff. So she got the extra uh, twenty percent. Don't petrify anyone. It's fine. You know what? It's fine. Um, I'm gonna do her uh, her level three. <clears throat> be honest with that right now. So boom, no attack boost. Let me see the damage right here. Boom, and then do level two as well. I see her damage. No attack boost, but she is getting her passive. So. 160, oh, there is a, I forgot, 168k, 168k AoE, uh, that's okay for an AoE attack, because of course you're counting everyone's damage, like literally three people's damage, ooh, I can get another one, do this, and then let me get the level 3 attack uh, boost right here, and then we can see the other skill, um, of course this is not gonna be my only run, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna see if I can find the other one, I don't care about her ult. Like her ult is like her ult reminds me of Valenti's ult, where you need the enemy to be buffed, which is like so like, it's so unpredictable for like an enemy to be buffed. It's very specific. 143k with a Gil Thunder attack boost. Uh yeah, she's uh <laughs> not a good damage dealer. Okay, I got myself another one, and she's actually level 75 with a little bit more stats in here in the game. Uh, she does have a cool costume, and I think it's one of the, uh, the purchasable ones, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, 13k attack stat now. 
She got behind you harder, and I did go for another stage because I was like, nah. That freeze girl is just so annoying. <laughs> Every time I want to do a showcase and I'm using that stage, it's like, freeze, freeze, freeze. Alright. Uh, ooh. Nice, actually. Okay. So, I could use her card, but I'm gonna wait for a go for level 2 so I can rank up everyone. And again, if I do sound off, um, still sick. Okay. <laughs> I still am. Alright. Got the um, level 2. So, this is perfect. I can do like both of her uh, level 3 cards. That's perfect. Does she have a debuff? She does have a debuff. Nice. So, uh, rank up Gopher, and then Gopher ranks up everyone, and then level 3 attack boost. This is gonna be literally her best, um, her best case scenario, like literally. So that's good. And um, again, I do think she's the weakest one of the bunch. Um, and she's alright. She's alright. Is that a stance? Can I remove that? <laughs> Can I remove that stance? Easy. If, if they let me see, of course. That's not a stance, that's a buff. Unfortunate. Alright, let me attack you. And then I'm gonna hold this card. Because I do wanna do a full AoE with that. Um, I'll attack you just to stop this advantage and then do this. Oh, that was AoE. 313k. I got it mixed up. But that was 313k. That's not bad. 313k. Huh. That's not bad. I mean, not like attack boost. She had a maximum attack boost. She does have a debuff as well. But that was not bad. Again, I do think she's the worst of the bunch. 243k. Uh, I do still think she's the worst of the bunch. Um, the other one, the one that looks like her but has black hair. I'm sorry, I forget these girls' names. Uh, I can actually pull up the. Uh, <laughs> The, the uh, database right here, just check their names out. Uh, Zaneri, actually switch it up. Zaneri, between the two of them, is just a little bit better because she actually has like a, a supporting function. Like, it's much better to judge support units because they are much more useful in the long run than just, oh, I do damage kind of things. I mean, she does in fact, which is not very good. Um, this alt right here is very interesting because it lasts forever. Like. This ability right here, increase HP related stats of the of uh, all allies by 25%. This lasts forever. Like until it, get, it gets removed, like I don't know, petrify or something that removes boss, whatever. This will last forever. Uh, on PvP, petrify is super common, so you probably get petrified or something. But th th this buff is like very good. And that's why I actually rank her above the um the Jenna. And the passive is a little bit interesting because of the uh, the whole you get alt gauge faster. Her attack card is pretty okay. Um, it's the same one as uh, green DML Eulis, which is good. But uh, some people are saying, oh, she could be good for PvP with this combo, right? You uh, you seal their alt gauge and you do heal, you get her alt fast. But her alt again, petrify is so common, you're gonna lose this. And the shield is okay. Maybe if you have like a uh, a 525% shield would be so nice. You'd be uh, wanting to her run her with uh, attack and defense, of course, because it's based on attack. But yeah, um, Jenna, she's okay. Worst of the bunch. If, if, if I do have to say, she's probably the worst of the bunch. But if you do pull her and she's good for super boss, uh, like getting high points. If you do want to go for like high points and get um, actually pull up right here. If you go in the top teams, one of the top teams is using Jenna because does she give like 500 extra extra points or something? And one of the missions, right, is to apply to infects. Let me go here. Oh, click the wrong thing. Here, super boss. If I go in the rankings, right? I'm still with my same points. I couldn't get any higher, unfortunately. Uh oh. Is it not here anymore? Oh, it got beaten. Interesting. The je uh, unless I'm stupid. Yeah, I guess the Jenna team did get beaten. Oh, it's not in the top ten anymore. I mean, she still works. Okay, <laughs> that's all I want to say. For super boss, she still works. Okay, thank you guys for watching.